Many young people, single, feel lonely, mm -hmm. and they desperately would love to have a partner. And they might think, if I could just have a partner, then my needs would be met. Now that's a big mistake. If you bring neediness, neediness mm -hmm. to a marriage, mm -hmm. and she brings, if I bring neediness and she brings neediness, what do you have? Just this cauldron of need. Mm -hmm. <laughs> God is designed to meet our needs. Mm -hmm. And when she has her needs met in God, and I have my needs met in God, then we come together and we overflow mm -hmm. and give to each other. Mm -hmm. So the Bible says, outdo one another in showing honor. Mm -hmm. That's a wonderful competition. Mm -hmm. Look, but if, if I try to out you, out, outdo you in getting you to give, give me, give me, give me, give me, give me, mm -hmm. and she's outdoing me and give me, give me, give me, that's, that's hopeless. Mm -hmm. But if, if I'm receiving every day blessing from God, I can look at her and say, now, if I really know her, here's what would make her glad. Here's what would make her flourish. And I have the resources to do that. And she's doing the same thing. And so th there's the key. And I have to stop this program. I must have her change, or she, me, must have me change. You've got to stop that. So what do you do then with the stuff that really bothers you? If you're a, um, a gardener in America and you, you have a garden, there is this thing called a compost pile. And the, and the compost pile is really ugly. It smells. You don't want to stay beside it. So I think every marriage should have a compost pile. Mm -hmm which means there are these things in your marriage that are ugly, you don't like them, they're conflict, they're aspects, and you take that and you say, now I can either live all the time in the presence of that being miserable, or I can take it and put it in the compost pile, mm -hmm. turn my back on the compost pile, walk over into the beautiful parts of the garden mm -hmm. or the pasture, mm -hmm. and enjoy her. Mm -hmm. Because what, what happens is, when you focus on the negative things in your partner, you tend to think that's all there is. Mm -hmm. That's not why you married her. Mm -hmm. <laughs> there were good things, and there still are good things. Mm -hmm. So you put that in the compost pile, and then you live in the pasture. And sometimes you may have to go visit the compost pile and deal with those issues, mm -hmm. but you don't have to stay there. So that's, that's my suggestion, is that you uh, recognize the things that are not gonna change, you put them in the compost pile and you spend most of your time focusing on the, the things that are good.